Hi guys. Oh, so today we are in a tight little car park. Uh, we're in the top car park here. Uh, we, you see, you come up here. This is the very top of the car park. I paid a guy at uh, Greenwood and he would kindly let you park in here. Um, okay, but where we're going to go today is we're going to head up towards Anlong Valley. We're going to take it easy today. Because I want to go and see exactly what coming from this car park is going to be like to try and get up Slave Billion. Now, uh, I know you can go this way to Slave Billion. Um, but I say, I'll, let, I'll show you exactly where we were last week because we were kind of over in this general direction last week. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll pause this on reverse camera and I'll show you where so we this were. This is where we are today. Um, but where those trees are, there is Ryan Stephen and over here is Long Stephen and then that one was the, the one that we didn't get up last week that was uh, Rocky yeah that one there is Rocky Mountain that we one there but that's the one there I want to try and have a look at today this is Sleep Binion um, so I say I'm gonna start the wee trail here because this is actually quite a busy wee place. There is an awful lot of people that do come up here. There's an awful lot of walkers. It's you're probably here in the background. These guys here are probably just wanting to have a wee whale of a day, just climbing up the, the, these mountains here. But um, I say you do pay this guy three quid, and he does let you park the car in here for uh, for all day, or you can park it. Um, you can park it uh, overnight for a fiver as well. So I say I'll, uh, I'll press on because we're here quite early the day. So we are. So um, we're going to start this video and then I'll bring you along here. And uh, I say we'll head up the trail and we'll see, see how things look. I see quite a good path to go up this. Uh, this way you just feel like you're right in the morns. Uh, the path does get a lot here as the further you go on up but uh you see that's where we were last week uh, see where we are yeah we're over that direction there last week over where that forest is that's around Stephen uh but this is the sort of direction we'd be going today because I just want to see what the uh, Steve Binion actually looks like from this end. I looked at it last week when I was over towards uh, towards the top of Long Stephen. Uh, I let the mammoth mammoth climb. It just looked like a brick wall. Um, so if we can get up this trail a wee bit here, uh, I'll be able to see how I'm pounding the path and how already. Um, well, I'll, uh, the views up here are absolutely amazing and stunning. It's actually quite a cold day today. Uh, but, I see, it's a great wee walk. Um, you probably can notice things are a wee bit more stabler now. Uh, I've got a, uh, obviously, Joby stabilizer. Uh, so it might be a bit, like a bit funny in places, but this isn't the first time really using it. So I'm going to try and get the use of it, uh, see what it's like, and uh, hopefully it'll make it be a bit more uh, entertaining enough a video for you. Maybe you get my subscribers up more. These guys are doing great by hitting that wee subscribe button for me. Uh, but you see, oh, it's hey, this is only the start, this is only the warm up, this is only me getting my, my burns about me. Um, just until I uh, get warmed up, and then I'll not be out of breath as much. Uh, but it's a wee bit of a steep climb, but we'll get there, uh, and it should be a wee bit of fun when you get to the end of this track. You will come to 
this metal gate. It's a little latch gate, but as they say, please close gate. I always remember just to, to shut the gate off here. Uh, I have to see this. Actually, not a Barbie trail. I think it is going to be wet in places today because uh, there is a few rivers and stuff that you have to cross over along here. Um, but that that one there, sleeping you. That's the one I really want to try and get up before do donut. Uh, the opinion, and then over there is Lamigan, and that one there is Rocky. That one's Rocky. Uh, you'll see where these two. Let's see, very bright today. The there, it's a bit better. Uh, where these two walls meet. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the way those two walls me grew just slightly over up, or more further on up to the top there, where uh, that was the top of uh, long season. But this will take you up through on a long valley. There's a camping site and all in here in the forest that you can you can go along to and get an overnight camp. That's what I'm saying. That guy's car parked it. We parked our car in there today. Um, it's pretty good for the day. Pretty good to bargain, isn't it? Or if you wanted to do an overnight camp up here, you could uh, pay him the five pound and just uh, take the uh, five pounds. So that's what I'm saying about these little rivers. Need to go through. Um, there'll be a few of these here today. That we need to get through, but hopefully it's not going to be too deep. But see, we just motor on up the track here. But this is the way that we go up in you up the last side. So when you get this section of the, the path, you have a little veer off the left. I would take it that's the way that you would go up, be along the wall there, along this section here, along there, and up. That's the way you would go up in you. But uh, today, we're going to take it easy today. Uh, we're just going to follow this trail on up to through towards Anlong Valley, towards Slave Lamigan, and maybe try and get out to uh, Cove Cave, I think it is, is what you call it, but uh, just so I, I would just want to get my burns and get a wee bit of a walk around here. Um, I just like feeling the dirt underneath my feet whenever I'm out here walking. Um, but that's what I'm saying, when you get to the section, there's like little parts that are and like a wee bit tricky and stuff for having to get up and down them but uh, I say it's nothing too awkward it's not like trying to get up that wee sequence everything's pretty pretty flat there is more of a more of an ascent on the way up here I think the blue lock sits at about I think it's about 400 meters it could be wrong I think it is around about 400 meters uh, beautiful big lock uh, very popular in the summer for people to come out swimming and stuff uh, but that's the route there. That's the, what I wanted to see today. But to see whether this would be uh, an easier way up rather than having to do the whole binion loop. The whole binion loop, I think, is about uh, I think it's about between seven and eight miles. I think. I think it's about eleven kilometers. I think whatever that is in miles. But you have loads of little wee rivers and streams and stuff with you. You need to try and get crossing over. They're all pretty high today. Like I don't remember them being as high as this here. But again, that's just because we've had so much rain lately. Uh, but look where you are. Isn't it just absolutely amazing? Uh, what a place to spend a Sunday morning in. In, in the mornings. Nobody to bother you. Just to be able to have a little time to yourself. Reflecting on what happened last week and just getting rid of all the rubbish in your head and stuff, but 
Uh, quite love it. I just can't get enough of it. It's the, this is my uh, Friday night clubbing. Uh, but it's on a Sunday morning and it's walking up through the morns. Um, and it's free. Apart from it's free when you pay for the car park. Like, but, I mean, that's just a service that that guy is willing to provide for you. Means your, your car's in there. Plus, he has public toilets and stuff there for you if you needed to use the lawyer or anything like that. Uh, but, that's what I'm saying. Starting to warm up a bit now. Uh, and uh, I'm going to motor on here a wee bit and just see what the uh, the paths like for the on up. Okay, I have done this before, but it was during August. <coughs> Excuse me, and the temperature. Temperature was crazy. It was in the well in the high 20s. Today, I think it's about six or seven centigrade today. To be wrong, cold anyway. Um, yeah, it's a great wee walk. Uh, very enjoyable wee walk. Uh, if you are wanting to get into hiking, this would probably be one of the, the nicest trails to try and get up here. It's not as hard. I, uh, I, it's not as hard as some of the trails. It's a nice flat surface just to get you broke in, get, you, get you, your legs warmed up. Uh, let's say. But this is the whole on a long valley. Uh, yeah, I'll spot I'm just trying to get used to this little uh, system here, but that's the route there that I would like to get. Uh, let's see if we can get around this way here. So you're following on up here, and that's Binion there. That's the one I want to try and get up, but that's not one for today. Thank you, you walk. Well, I've been to the Blue Lock. I've been out that general direction, but the Cold Cave, Cold Cave is it? Uh, Silver said Cold Mountain, I think it is, but it's Cold Cave, it's Cave. You can climb up inside it, but I wouldn't be able to see it. Tiny, tiny, tiny bee hole where it takes you out into the actual top of the cave. I think you can't walk around it. Um, but, uh, there's another wee river here I need to cross over. That's what I'm saying, you've got these little streams and rivers you need to try and get down through. So they're, they're, they're in pretty good flow today. Uh, This is just another wee, uh, nothing deep, but there is a deeper one further on up. I'm just trying to get used to this old Joby stabilizer thing. There is a few different patterns and whatever that you need to, you need to watch over, you need to follow. So we're getting a good wee bit here. I don't want to point the, the camera into the sun, but this is where we are today. Yeah. So I'm probably get used to this. It's all going to be a wee bit confusing for me, but uh, it'll not be too long before I get the general hang of it. But this is like a little campsite that you can come into. Uh, and it's not too far from the car park, but it gives you an anchor point to start from. You know, if you did do an overnight camp or you, you did do, like, didn't you look around a hang like that, you could come back here. Uh, I see this is just like. This is just like a little point where you can get everywhere in the morning. Uh, you can go right on up, up that trail there towards Ben Crom, go across Ben Crom over towards, uh, Doan, over to Brandy, Brandy Path Traverse, and then you can head up from Brandy Path, head up towards, uh, Corriga, Corriga Mountain, uh, and then towards Donard, Commodore. Uh, so you can go pretty good full circle on on this little trail here, but it's a nice little trail to get around here. Uh, but again, that's the that's the track up there. It, it looks steep, uh, but again, everything doesn't look when you're down ground level and you're looking up. Everything looks a lot higher and steeper than what it is. But 
Again, I hear that it is a monster of a, a mountain to climb, but uh, I'll move it on here because I want to get further on out this trail here uh, to show you exactly where I want to try and go. But these are the little parts of the trail here that uh, you need to sort of watch out for these little water bits, but they're normally always pretty good. There's normally always sort of like little stepping stones and stuff. This is quite big and flat, but as you see, you have little uh, points where you can uh, step over. And uh, hopefully, I don't go in the hole here. Like, so there we go, we made it over. Uh, so, well, you see, that's what you're sort of facing with here. But I think it's just because. There's so much rain, I think that's why it's flowing so heavy. Yeah. Well, there we so, go. This is another campsite. This, I think, maybe is one of the main campsites here. Um, I thought it was further on back down the road, the path there, but there's the little stand on what we get over. Uh, but I say, you can see people's camping there now. Um, just wanted to show you, we want just a quick one. Past a lovely couple of couple of girls there on a man. Uh this most adorable dog. Uh when I was walking up the trail here, I thought flip my ears a fox. So his name's Dallas. And uh I said I didn't catch a girl's big girl's name. But really nice girls, nice man. Uh just out enjoying them today. But I'll put a wee picture up of Dallas, uh and you can appreciate how there you are, amazingly looking. This little dog is kind of looked like a fox from a distance. Um, and he was a wee rescue dog too, but let's say he's in a great home now. He's with lovely people, so he's just loving life and that. They must really special people that love him. And uh, I say, yeah, yeah, he was a turn out for the best. Nice, wee enjoyable conversation and a nice wee uh, animal to. Uh, just appreciate it, and uh, let's see. I'll uh, I'll continue on up the up the track here. So I'm slowly getting kind of used to this Joby system, but I see there's an guy coming down here, so I'll uh, continue on because there is a few more wee water points. But and we're going to go over this general direction here. With the the pass part, so straight on there towards Lamagan. Uh, we'll take you out to Blue Lock along that path. I think this is the general direction to uh, Cove Cave. I think that is it there. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. This is Cove Cave over this direction here, if I'm sure, but I'll say uh, I'll know better when I get further on up here. There is a bit of a river here that the crossover. Uh, I don't know how how fast flowing it is, but that big boy there is rocky. That's the one we didn't get up last week, but we did do long seafen and we did round seafen round with those trees and all. Just the other side of that, uh, and long valley here, uh, the, the the forest and whatever. But uh, it's quite a rocky little path. But I think I am going in the general direction. It's Normally, the best thing about the moorings is you have a wall to help you. Most of these trails are all they kind of linked together, but again, an awful lot of using your common sense. I call it me indoor sat nav in the head. I just normally go where uh, I feel is where I think the trail is the right trail to go. Sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong, but normally, uh, you can uh, just sort of go where where you feel that uh, you're, you're, you're heading in the sort of right direction. But it's not a bad path. It's not that bad. It's, here's this river here. I'll show you when I get closer. Now I'll speed up there a wee bit here just to get down. But, um, see, it is a bit tricky in parts this here. Oh, boy, is it the look at the flow on that. I don't know about Getting over this here, see that's what 
it's quite a, uh, it's quite the stream. If I can't get this, if I can't get over this, I'll maybe just head up to the blue log, and I'll show you what the blue log's like, but as you can see, it's in full flow here. So this is where we have to try and cross over. Um, I don't know whether this is doable, but there is, there is rocks here. Uh, I don't know whether it's going to be too slippy to try and get over here. I can really just head up to the blue lock. Uh, as you can see, it's quite, uh, it's quite in full flow here, and I don't want to slip, because it looks parts very, very mossy and parts, but see when you're down this slow, this is, you'll get the appreciation of how big these mountains are. Uh, that's Sleeve Lamigan. That's, see, that's, that's a beast of a, uh, a mountain to climb. Uh, how many say? I'll show you this. That's massive. That's apparently one of the hardest ones to climb in the morning. Uh, and then you can go over towards, that's the North Tor. But I think this is just a wee bit too, too, uh, too much in flu, full flow to try and get over this here. Um, so it is quite, it's quite fast in places. I just don't know. Well, I, I could probably try and get over those rocks there, but I don't know how slippy it is, but maybe just head up to the blue lock. <laughs> so, a slight change of plan. Ah, as you can see, this river is pretty full flow. So, I'm maybe just going to head up to the blue lock. Let's see if we can get up to there. Uh, parts of this here it is. Quite high in places, but, uh, let's figure out what's the best route. I'm actually gonna maybe just copy this guy going over here and see what way he's gonna come across it. Alright, that's me heading back to the car. Um, never made it like the blue lock or cove, reason being. Uh, last week, it was about Tuesday, getting out of the car. I, uh, twisted my knee. Uh -huh. yeah. Something simple like getting out of the car. I think this is what they call the middle age. Um, one of the days when you twisted your knee, uh, doing sports and stuff like this. Getting out of a car, twisted my knee. Yeah. So, twisted my knee, nothing heroic. Nothing like aiming at the arms of one's death or anything like that there. Uh, huh. Getting out of the car, twisting my knee, but I kind of slipped on a wee bit of a rock there. And I kind of jolted my knee there, so it is a bit of a pain there. Now, um, I don't want to prolong it any longer. Uh, make it any worse than what it was. Um, what's it Joey thing? I don't know. It's, this is driving me up the walls as well. Uh, I'm not getting the full gist of it yet, as of yet, but the videos will be a wee bit more stable now with, with this thing. Um, but, yeah, I don't want to, uh, quite a steep climb up to that, up to the blue lock, but I don't want to put major pressure on this knee, it's on the right knee. Uh, I can just feel it in the joint because it was too heavy bruising on it all week. And it's not great today, but just a little slip off that wee rock. Um, I remember we jumped forward, and uh, it's just sort of like in between the knee cap. Uh, so, unfortunately, we're going to cut the day short. But hopefully, uh, hopefully, you may be able to make something out of this. This vlog today, you may be able to stitch something together for you. Uh, but, yeah, I'm gonna head back to the car now, but first of all, it may be two and a half, three minutes, but I'd have to set the, the relive halfway up there, or it could be a bit before I, uh, realised that I hadn't set it. I normally do this all the time, I forget to start the relive because I'm too busy starting off these vlogs, but, well, uh, you see, hopefully there's nothing disappointing about it. Um, you know, it's just a wee bit of a, a fake, just trying to get 
used to hold in this thing. Um, as you can see, parts of the video was all over the show, but uh, it will be a lot stabler, it will be a lot less jittery. Something that you can be concentrated on a wee bit better, rather than having it go on and jumping all over the place. But uh, at least you get back there, car, get myself going. I've got tomato soup today. Tomato soup. Yeah. But yeah, hopefully I'll be able to stitch something together. But I see, it is a it is a beautiful place to be. Just in the round here. This is uh Carrick Little Car Park along to this is what they call the Binion Loop. Uh, yeah. There's a few heavy flood rivers and stuff in the way there. Uh, I think that's maybe what was happening, maybe that rock. That I stood on. Uh, it was a wee bit moth. I should have known better than found on it, but I kind of like jumped it forward like that there or, and put uh, like a shock on the knee. But that's the thing. I'll head back to the car. Uh, hopefully, you're not really disappointed, but um, I'll uh, hopefully say, be able to stitch something together here. Uh, but I'll show you a photograph. I'll put a wee photograph of that wee dog in. Uh, Dallas, they call the dog. Beautiful wee thing. Say, I thought it was a fox when I was seeing it coming up. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll head back to the car here and uh, I'll see you when I get back to the car. Um, that's me nearly back to the car now. Yeah, that's unfortunate today. These, these things, I believe myself, come for a reason. Um, but that's where we were last week. Over that direction, they're over in the season. Uh, round season, long season. You can see them in the previous vlogs. Uh, that's my channel. It's probably a little man, but quite hard to pick a climb. Uh, <coughs> but we're going to head back to the car now. So, see if I can get this right here. I think that's a lock. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, it isn't actually a bad path to walk up. I think that overall, hey, I forgot to start about the relive at the start of the walk, so I think it might have been in total. There, where I got to, I'm back to the park. It's probably in around three miles. Uh, I don't know what that is in kilometers, but. Uh, here we are back to the gate. Somebody forgot to put the loop on. Because uh, it did jam it. Uh, I'm just going to continue on down the wee track here till we get to the, back to the car. But uh, it is amazing out here. You do get some lovely scenery in the right here. Uh, this is a good wee thing. Good stabilizer, but again, it's like everything is just getting used to it. So I went bonkers there a minute ago. Uh, started flipping around, going around in circles or anything like that, but uh, I will get the hang of it. Uh, hopefully, these vlogs will be a wee bit better. You'll be able to concentrate on the on the screen better because it's uh, it'll be more of a flowing video rather than you know like you had the camera in your hand where you're bouncing about all over the place but I mean you can look at these walls the craftsmanship that goes into building these walls like I mean why don't you trying to lift that thing huh well see we're Head back closer to the car, but I'll see you when I get back to the car. So, that's me, uh, back to the car. Not a fulfilling, fulfilling day, but uh, it's a walk, it's about, and totally it's about three, three and a half miles. I remember it didn't start to read it, probably half a mile up the track there, so, uh, good luck. Okay, not achieved. Yeah, uh, because it's worse than the Navy and stupid. But 
that's another day done